I'm back. Back on 90.3 The Core, Team Academics Radio with Sub and Four, Goodfella Radio. They'll be back next week. Well, until then, it's Team Academics Radio in the building. Shout out to my man, Leaf. Shout out to Team OMF in the yeah, building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bam, what, what up? up? What up? Bam, what up, man? You know what I mean? He got that Draft Day mixtape coming out. Draft Day, June 17th. Copy June. it on that piff. Copy. Crazy. Coming out at midnight or noon? Which, which one is it? Midnight. Midnight? Yeah, Saturday night. And, well, Sunday morning. All right. You know what I'm saying? So. All right. Don't get too technical on me now. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. Zero, zero, zero. All right, so this Count Money joint right now, I like it, yo. Yeah, I really like it. You know what I mean? Keep it real. I just think you just got to promote it. You got to promote it. You got to yeah, yeah. get I need, other people I mean, people I need help believe. from you. I mean, yeah. I'm going to help you. I'm going to play the That's joint. I'm going to play it. Every time I'm up here, I'm going to play it. Let's get you listen it. To, if you listen to the show, I'm going to play it. You know what I mean? You, I'm I'm you my man. I got you. You know what I mean? You've been pressuring me too. He, this guy it. run up on me everywhere, but it's all good. <laughs> Let's, get it. Let's get it. But um, all right, so after this count money joint, what you got next off the mixtape you about to give the people? Uh I got the second single that's coming out. Uh I just shot a little video for it. I got another video shoot coming up. Ooh, it's called What's the name of it? It's called Cause I Wanna. Cause I wanna. Yeah. Alright. I think swag. We, we gonna try to play a little bit of that. You yeah. know what I mean? Swag. <laughs> is the swag in the title? Nah, it's just swag dope. Swag like, the whole right. track is just you know what I'm saying? You're going to get memorized when you hear that. You feel uh, me? All right, cool. You know what? Since we got y'all in the building, we're going to play a real quick game. Though. We're going to play a real quick game of either, either. You know what I mean? All right. You can could, you could pick whatever you want. So I'm going to give you two choices. Just pick one and just explain real quick why you picked it. You know what I mean? Let's go. I mean, we're going to start off with the obvious. So I heard the heat just took an L. Oh. Heat. Yo, man. <laughs> My man looking hurt. Right now, man. <laughs> The heat of the thunder. Uh, I picked the thunder. Why? Durant got a lot to prove because of the simple fact that he swept Dallas Mavericks. He also had the number one. Uh, he had a better record than the Heat. Mm-hmm. And also, he was the scoring champ for the year. All right, I feel you. I feel you, you on that. So I picked the I picked the thunder. All right. Two chains of future. Two chains. All right. That's, that's I actually not, meant to say two chains of uh, French Montana. Two chains. <laughs> that's, that's two chains. Two chains. Yeah, I'm rocking with two chains, man. True. I could, I could dig it. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So, so if you had to, um, we gonna pause again real quick. But if you had to compare your style of like rapping to like any rappers, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like who, who, who would you say close is the closest uh, to your style? I'm. I'll say I'm mixed with a little bit of. Uh, Pusha T, Tiger, and uh, Red Cafe. All three of them. Pusha T. So you tell me if I listen to Draft yeah. Day. Yeah, you'll see. The, in, the, the intro is all, it's got a little bit of swag. It's just Pusha. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So so we got Exodus 23 on it. I mean, yo, yo <laughs> yeah, remember this track, Only My Family. Only My Family. Yeah. All right, so you say you mix with Pusha T. Who else? Pusha T, Tiger, and Red Cafe, I would say. Tiger got the clubs. Yeah. You know Tiger you, got the you clubs. You just heard Count Money. That's a club banger. Count Money is a I, club joint. You know what I mean? That's when I worked all week. I got my paycheck. Yeah. And I go to the club and I throw it in the air. And I'm broke the next day. That's that's an anthem. Yeah. <laughs> I, got a lot, I got a lot of those in, in, the, in the tape. But not too much, though. It's 17 tracks on the tape. You know what I'm saying? I'd probably say I got like six of those joints in there. And the, the rest is just straight up just keeping it real. My Listen, whole upbringing and everything. Oh, so see, you, you give your listeners a little bit about yourself and everything. Yeah, of course, definitely, because they, they want to know who they're listening to and wh- what they're about, you know what I'm saying? All right, so, and I, I always ask, I ask a lot of people this, just to see where their head is and where the vision is. You know what I mean? A year from now on this day, what do you see yourself doing? Oh. Or where, where in the game do you see oh, yourself not, at? That's not even a question, man. I, I see myself with a million followers on Twitter, man. A million followers? That's not even a question, on yeah. Tour. I mean, on it's, tour, it's all that. Because you see, with me, is like, I wasn't even supposed to get a high school diploma. Okay. I got a master's degree. You you got ma- what so you got a master's in? Human Resource Management from Senior Hall University, 3.9 GPA. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? So At the like, same <laughs> dang time. All right, I could get it. You so you're rapping. I mean, it's like now that I, I finished that, I finished school, you know what I'm saying? I'm only 23 years old. I finished everything. So it's like now I get to focus on the real work. You feel me? I get to focus on what what God gave me a talent on and I get to really take advantage of it. Alright, you know, I I gotta I gotta I gotta play from all angles here. Yeah. I know there's some fans listening right now on some you got a master's degree 
You're 23, you know what I mean? Right now, everything's looking up for you, yeah. and you're rapping. But then when I hear you rap, the song I'm hearing is, I wake up, I count money. Yeah. I go to... The, the, I mean, because that, that, that just... That's my persona. Like I said before, I could be lyrical as hell on a on a on a whole CD. Okay. That's not my swag. Like I won't. I don't think like, cause my whole fans, everybody know me as being arrogant. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So me coming out being lyrical, trying to be on some, it's not gonna work out. So regardless of whatever yeah. the school or whatever, you're being yourself. I'm being myself. Like I, I I've been going to school since I was three years old. I'm tired of I'm tired of all that. You know what I'm saying? Now it's time to be myself and just be just be me and just swag it out. You feel me? I feel you because you don't want to be you don't get that plies angle because yeah. people still killing plies. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard plies talk <laughs> one day. Yeah. Yo, he Plaz actually he actually he's a L, he's a RN or LPN. A registered, a registered he's a registered nurse. nurse. A lot of people don't know that. Are you kidding me? Yeah, his brother is uh, Kirk Franklin. Kirk Franklin. Yeah. On top of that. You know nah, his brother's not Kirk. I'm, I'm <laughs> nah, serious. His his that's Kirk the headline. Frank. That's just the hairline. Like nah, it's pushed back. His brother's Kirk Franklin. You can you can actually Google it right now. Plies brothers Kirk Franklin. No, no, he said his brother was in jail for 100 years. That's probably his other brother, <laughs> not Kirk. <laughs> now, but you know, a, a lot of people on a serious note, a lot of people give him a lot of flat because, like, his, on his songs, he's like, I'm a goon, this and the yeah. third, and it's more, it's more street. Yeah. But then, you know what I mean, it, it, people feel like he's discredited. I mean, that's just the people that don't know him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the people that don't know him that's just judging him off what they hear from other people. You know what I'm saying? All right, so, so you think someone ever might look at you and be like, yeah, we're hearing this thing, and yeah, it goes hard in the club, but we just don't believe you. Nah, my man, you you got a master's, you went to school, nah. you did, you did you know everything why, right You way. know why people won't look at me like that? Because a lot of people don't even know I got my master's. Mm. So that people see me as an arrogant, you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody sees me as, oh, this guy got a 3.9 GPA, or oh, he's actually smart, he's this and that. Nobody sees me as that. People see me as the other way, like, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, so if you had to... So, all right, is school your backup plan yeah, for school, rap? School or is a college degree just uh it don't it don't never promise you nothing. It's just a plan B to me. You know what I'm saying? It just basically just puts you in a position where you probably can get you know what I'm saying a exposure or you can you can get a job with it. Like it just it enhances your chances. Okay. You know what I'm saying to me, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying school is definitely plan B to me. You know what I'm saying I don't. Like for right now, I'm looking at a lot of things. Like I don't have to go to school for what I'm trying to do. You know what I'm saying, okay. basically. So I just got it just to prove my mom, just to prove people wrong, and just to just to motivate myself. I got a degree now. I'm happy with the degree. Now I get to do what I want to do, basically. All right. You know what I'm saying. Um. Everybody knows that like Jersey, as as far as Jersey right now, people know that Jersey like it, keeping it real. Jersey, everyone has a crab in a bucket mentality. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know what? We only had like two or three people ever really make it out here and really make it big yeah. as far as rap. You know yeah. what I mean? And everyone's usually in a mentality on some, well, as long as there's nobody else, it, it, it should be nobody else if it's not me. Yeah. They, they, they'd rather Jersey have no one else except them. Yeah. You know what I mean, do you think you're probably going to have to go elsewhere, get hot? We've seen French do that. French, French was cool in New York. He was actually selling DVDs. Yeah. He went down south, linked up with Ross, linked up with, uh, with with some of the right people, and he got his songs right. They accepted him down here, and now New York love him. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. That's what's up. So Yeah, we, but definitely, yeah. I, I, like, we already got that plan already in the agenda. Like, me and, and Rich, we're going on a, uh, on a tour starting in August because we got a, uh, a tape coming out August 14th called Dual Identity with just me and Rich. You know what I'm saying? So we're going on the down south tour and we're going. I, I definitely know that's what we got to do. We got to make that move out there because. So so you're basically saying you can't, you, you really can't come out of Jersey. Now nah, you yeah. can come out of Jersey, but it's just the lack of support. Anybody come out of Jersey, like a lot of DJs, mo the reason why Wala and all them is really, really popping is not because of Jersey. They went to Tennessee, they went to Texas, they went to Georgia, and they did their numbers out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really look back, it's not because of Jersey. People started showing them love after they heard that they was the best DJ. You, you know, you're kind of right. Because I know Wala, Wala, he was doing his thing in Jersey for a minute. Yeah, he was. But, but he started I, in high school, but they they were still like, it wasn't really serious yeah, like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what, though? I think with Jersey, a lot of people see it as a ceiling. You could be like, yeah, you're doing your thing in Jersey. But since Jersey don't have those offices, you don't really have A&Rs, you don't yeah, have yeah. those connects really checking for people in Jersey. They're thinking... Yeah, you could be just a hot dude in Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Kinda how Meek Mills was in when he was in Philly. Yeah. You're a hot dude in Philly, but that's it. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know Philly uh, Meek Mill and pop off till he went to Miami. That's when everybody exactly. was just 
Exactly. Link, like, yo, he's the hot. Like, he was getting more love in Miami at, at one point than Ross. So they're like, yo, who is this guy like that's doing this? You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. Yeah, we, we definitely going go on, go on, uh bring our demographic somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? And just link out there. And, and um, I mean, you mentioned earlier that you said, like, basically, you did put. You put another one of your team members ahead of you, you know what I mean? Like when you were actually you, you were probably in school doing your thing yeah. and you couldn't be as focused as you are now, now that you're done with yeah, getting yeah. your masters and everything. Yeah. Like is now you're looking at well, you also gotta are you more towards your own career or are you looking at your other team it, members, you're trying to develop them as well still? Um, it's both. You know what I'm saying? It's both because like if you look at like for example, like Dipset, like Cameron, mm-hmm. Jewels, they popped off and Jim Jones' career went further than all of them. You know what I'm saying. I don't Wait, know about that. A little bit. Uh, I don't. A lot, I don't know about Cameron. It's kind of 50 50. But Jim Jones right now is still relevant. You know what I'm saying. Okay. You feel I, me? So it was like, and he was, he played a back role for a long time. All right, hold on. So you trying to say you the you trying to say you the Jim Jones nah, uh, nah, a shit. team OMF? Nah, I'm not. I'm definitely not trying. To I say start I'm some beef up here. I have <laughs> y'all beef in the second. <laughs> I'm definitely not next trying to say t- that. Next thing he tweet out something on some listen, bam, you're demoted to Cabo. <laughs> It's over. I'm definitely not trying to say that. I'm just trying to say, like, it comes a point in time where you accomplish what you got accomplished. Now you got to focus on yourself and you got to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's at, that's where I'm at right now. Like, I accomplished what I had to accomplish. I did my goals. And now it's time to just move on and just finish the rest of my breakfast, basically. All right. I feel So what you think this uh, mixtape's really going to do in the game? Like, if, if it has enough support provided, you know what I mean? Um, I definitely think it would have A&Rs and, and, and different labels looking at us. You know what I'm saying? I de- it would have people looking at us. All right, cool. You know what I mean? We're going to come back in a little bit. We're going to get into this joint. You actually hear below my voice right now. We're going to get into the Paris joint with Jay-Z and Kanye. Shout out to Gwyneth Paltrow, you know what I mean? That's my girl right there. So, you know what I mean? Um, Once again, hit my man Bam on Twitter right now. Shout out to Twitter name out. At Bam OMF. You know what I mean? Twitter. Yeah. George, you ain't trying to shout your Twitter out? Uh, no, I'm good, man. Let my man Bam get some shine. I'm, here, I'm up here for support. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 